here we are been a while between videos but we are eventually as promised a while ago into the backcountry I was getting sick of I'm pretty sure you guys may have been getting sick of this Tongariro video after Tongariro video and maybe a bit, 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 the odd bit of Henny Mai here and there so I really thought I'd wait until I um, got a chance to really do it properly get out into the backcountry like I am today so hopefully we can sight fish some big browns big rainbows and I've got two rods set up here I've got a dry fly rod set up and I've got an nymphing set up so we'll cover all bases and hopefully crack into some good fish this right here looks beautiful I've fished above it quite far a bit further up but I haven't quite hit this spot here and it looks like some quite nice slow dry drop of tier Took the nymph, pretty sure he's a rainbow. Oh no, I think it's a big brown. Big fish, whatever he is. It's quite hard to tell his size from his jumps. I got a good view of his gut. And he looked pretty buddy chunky. Come on. Come on. Don't want to lose this fish. This is a really nice fish. Come on. As soon as he gets close to me, he wants to just turn and go. Oh, he looks beautiful. There we go. Woo -hoo. There we go. That is a beautiful brown. Got the nymph set up out now. I'm just going to work up this piece here. Jesus. Putting on a bit of a show. Fairly small rainbow. It's got a little lot of fight in it. I think I'm gonna make a change in terms of my fly because that took a bit longer than I would have liked to hook. Not that I'm expecting to hook every car, so just I've fished this spot of this setup and it was a bit better so I thought I might might make some change oh you poor bastard there we go real nice condition though That looks like a pretty solid rainbow this, really solid. I brought a friend to this spot a couple days back I caught one really nice rainbow. Could be the same one even. But straight away after making that change to just something a little bit more natural than what I had on, I think it was first or second cast, I hook up so, Jesus it looks like a good fish from here. Hard to say fully, but...
doesn't want to budge. This fish is a beast of a rainbow. Got him right in the corner of the mouth. Absolute egg. Come on. He wants to go for another run. Oh no. Almost tangled me up on a rock there. Not quite though. Definitely not wrapped up. I've only got two on. I can see the other one from here. Just strong. Oh, beautiful. Woo -hoo -hoo. This could be the biggest rainbow I've ever caught. Just gonna weigh him now. Seven. Just over seven pound rainbow. Which I think nudges on the biggest rainbow. So I've just moved up to the next pool and I've gone back to my dry dropper rig. I'm just walking up the edge here and looking to see if I can sort of see anything in close. Yeah. Jesus. Fish swam towards me, I had to grab the, the main main line with my hand to keep it tight. There we go. Beautiful fish. There we go. Quite similar to the first fish, and I'm really stoked with that. Check out the colours. That is an awesome fish. And I'll get him back swimming. There we go. God, dry dropper fishing really tests your eyesight. There we go. Off. I'm guessing rainbow of the way this thing's nipping around. For a fairly small fish, he had some fight. He had some fight. Beautiful colours. Swim, swim, swim. So I'm going to run through where I've just gone through with the dry dropper now with the indicator nymph set up. It'll just allow me to get a bit closer on the bottom and in sort of the roughest stuff out there where either it's really hard to see my dry or it would get sucked under if I was out there. Jesus. That shot under. That was aggressive. How beautiful is this spot though? Look at that view just downstream there. So good. 
Oh, that's a big boy. That is a big boy. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That is a tank. This day is really coming together. And if you're wondering about the indicator I'm using, I can ad I adjust it up and down. Like when I got to this spot here, I needed it to be a wee bit shallower, wee bit shorter than where I was before. So I was able to just slide it down. And I'm selling these indicators now, so should be able to find them at the Creel or Barry Griggs in Tūrangi and hopefully in further places soon. So there's my little plug there. Turn your head. He's really not giving in to the side haul that I'm trying to put on him here. I'm trying to try to give him a bit of side haul. Turn his head so he's fighting against the current. I'm pretty sure he's a pretty solid fish because he doesn't want to play that game. Just really want to get him in that softer water. And one to go by it. Oh, gotcha. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The size of these fish are incredible. Look at that. Absolute beautiful fish. Heavy. And that there is what he did to my hook. Just completely straightened it. I'm amazed that he actually stayed on with the hook. That bloody bent. Going through the same water with two different methods kind of goes to show one of my methods I'm fishing a lot shallower and one of them a lot deeper and on days like this you definitely do get both you get fish feeding at different levels you get some still pretty stubborn stuck down hard on the bottom that you got to present to right in front of their face and then you get some that will check out a little bit higher in the water column and the nymph under a dry those nymph, nymphs under dryers are very rarely going right along the bottom. They're just sort of hanging around mid-water column, upper to mid-water column. And interestingly, both the browns have been on the both the browns have been on that system, and the two rainbows, well, the two solid rainbows, have been on the indicator nymph. So they're just hugging the bottom a bit more, maybe. Or maybe it's just coincidence. I think I'll go one more fish and then call it a day. I didn't expect today to be so full on. I didn't think I'd be walking. I was more really just thinking I was going for a look when I left the door this morning and now it's turned into a full on video day expedition without lunch in my bag, which is not very good planning. Just hooked one here. Jesus. Just as my nymphs were swinging at the bottom of my drift. This is one thing I've been doing quite a bit lately. I sometimes just let them swing. And the way they come around up off the bottom looks really natural. I didn't expect it there though. Usually when I wasn't even really thinking of doing it on this fish. Just Feels like another good fish. I think it's a brown this one. I haven't seen it, but it's acting like a brown. Or it's foul hooked. Fuck yeah. Lost. I had to happen at some point of the day. Oh, I did lose one really small one, but it's the first one that has, hasn't really stuck. I can't complain too much. So I think we're gonna leave it at that. Call that a day. I am starving. I came really unprepared today. I really just thought I was going for a drive having a look. But that turned into a bit more than having a look. And I'm glad I had more than a look because I'm super stoked with some of the quality of those fish that we caught. So anyway, I'm going to start making my way back to the vehicle. Yeah, that was unreal. A little space of time there. Seven or eight fish and some really awesome ones amongst them. So 
I'm definitely going to get back out here over the next few over the next month or so and probably do some more backcountry stuff around this area as well so stay tuned like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video cheers